Begin? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hello, welcome families. I'm super excited to have you today. If you want to shout out, write your name in the comments and Evan's going to give me a list in a second. And while we gather all of that, we're going to do some fun little character paper circuits. You'll make your own little look of it and you'll get to choose a piece of your character that lights up today. So if you don't Welcome have all your families, supplies, I'm super you excited to have you today. If you want to shout uh, out, write your name so in the comments and Evan's going to give me a list email. in a second. And, and while we gather all of that, we're going to do some fun little characters today. So that if you want to shout out, write your name in the comments and Evan's You'll need a pair of scissors. And give me a list in a second. And while we gather all of that, we're going to do some fun little characters today. If you want to shout out, write your name in the comments and Evan's going to give me a list in a second. And while we gather all of that, we're going to do some fun little if you don't need a pair of scissors, you can get a battery and LED and actually get out of your own oil and use that phone to make sure you can find it. But ideally, you'll have some copper paint and you'll have the batteries and then some non-injective paint. So you can use the paint, 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 and before we start, we will go over a couple of our experiments, our past experiments that we've had going on with us. So, let's do some shout outs. I know, hopefully, Colin is out there because it's Colin's birthday. So, I want to give a happy birthday shout out to Colin. It's so exciting, getting big. Who else do you have? Who knows? Marin Oh, okay. We might be on a delay. I apologize for the delay. We actually were on a delay because we we have um, a little tiny camera we're going to swing in when we do the circuit part so you guys can see it closely. But it seems like that ability to sort of swap between cameras might be giving us a delay. So there's going to be a delay between the comments. Um, so do you have any other shout-outs with that delay? Yeah, that's cool. All right. So I want to take a quick look at what we did yesterday. Oh, yeah. Hang on. We'll pause. That's cool. All right. They text daddy. Though because they we don't have the computer looking at us right now. Do 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 do. You wanna do a sound do. test? Sound test. Can people hear me? Give me a thumbs up somehow in the comments if you can hear us. We're testing a new system today. Apparently it might have a little bumps. Let's see. Whoa, this came out off of my... Alright, we have a much better... Better? Good sound? Okay. Alright. Seems like we are mostly good to go then, we're hopefully. Just, we're just like, got a major delay on the feed. Ah, but we have a big delay. Okay. Hmm. I wonder... So, just, just comments will be responded to. Yeah. So we'll get slower. you. Yeah, we'll try to get your comments. We'll just be a little slower on the comments today. That's totally cool. Um, so I want to take a quick peek at what we did yesterday. If you joined us yesterday for Copper Nails, and I had some really cool observations that we might be able to even use our brand new up close setup for. And we had two different nails. My daughters each did a different type of nail. I, I did the one with the big one. Yeah, Georgia did this one over here that we're going to get a close-up on in a second. Scoot it back a little. Um, zoop. How's that? Okay. So this one that's Georgia's, it actually, the copper didn't adhere very well, and there's actually copper on the tissue paper where it dried, which makes me think this might have been a stainless steel type of a nail where it didn't really stick to it. 
But Isabella has actually took on the copper color really nicely. She's got a nice little penny copper color if we compare it to a penny, which is fabulous. They ended up leaving theirs in that solution a little while longer after we left. We kind of forgot about it. And because we left it in so long, I found out something really interesting. So Isabella had a 1978 penny, and those pennies that were pre-1982 were 95% copper. So this one's mostly copper. And then she also had, which one? This, this is like a 1999 or 98 penny that was in there also. And it's really interesting because you can see how the 1978 penny that's mostly copper is still, it just looks mostly copper. It's very pink, very copperish. It's not super shiny, but it's very copperish. Whereas the one that is older, the 1990 something penny, that's only two and a half percent copper, you can actually see it where we started eating away so much of the copper that we're getting down to that iron, which is kind of interesting. All these black spots where the copper is actually rubbing away or on the face, we can see that we've eaten through that thin layer of copper and dissolved it. Where's the balls? You might be able to oh, lift here. it up and show. Ooh, okay, let's see if we can lift it up. So you can see all this like dark black, we just have taken off the copper through that chemical reaction. And then the third penny I wanted to show you is one of the pennies that we just left out without rinsing. And if you look at it without rinsing, we've gotten all of this green stuff coming on. And that is because the reaction continues when we don't rinse it. And so we get basically a different type of oxidation reaction over time. It sort of like starts to help peel up that copper and you get this green coppery look that we see in copper all the time. So that was sort of a recap of yesterday's experiment. And then... So we're, we're, whenever you're ready for lots of shout outs, we have some. Okay, then we're gonna switch back. And before we switch to our next one, we can switch back to a normal camera. And we will look at the eggs after we do some shout outs. So let's get some shout outs in. Okay, we're out. So we have Marin. Always oh, hi, Mary, Marin again. Clara and Anna. Yes, Clara and Anna. I'm excited for you we guys have to join us for George Christmas. and Henry. Hello, George and Henry. Oh, I'm so excited you're joining us again today. We have Kavi. Kavi and probably your brother, Manas. And Ruby and Leif are saying hi. Good morning, Ruby and Leif. I'm excited you're going to be here. And I don't know if Colin's there, but if he is, he's still. I'm still wishing him a happy birthday. Calero is here. Hi, Calero! Oh, I'm excited. This is going to be a fun one. You're going to enjoy it. And Calvin and Chloe and Amelia. Hello, Calvin and Chloe and Amelia. I had the pleasure of meeting you today while you guys picked up some supplies. That was awesome. And Callie says hi. Hello, Callie. And oh, there's Colin. There's Colin! Woo! See it from me already. Happy birthday! Should we sing the whole song? No, this is not. Let's just do a quick happy birthday. Happy birthday! Yay! Yay. It's pretty and exciting. And Kaya. And Kaya, hello. How Kaya. are you? Kaya. And I think that's all the calls we have now. Sam George. All right. Oh, that's Sam? that's um. Sam. Sam? Griffin. Sam? Hello, Griffin. All right. So we are going to finish our egg osmosis experiment today. It is under a box because I have not even let my own children see the results. So, we're gonna do one at a time. One at a time. Which one should we do first, George? Should we do the water or the corn syrup? Corn syrup. Let's look at the corn syrup egg. I'm gonna put this down so you can pull it up with a spoon. And we're gonna see. Now, before we lift up the corn syrup egg, let's think about what we think will happen. So our egg had water in it, and the corn syrup was really thick, so not much water. Do you think the water is gonna go from the corn syrup thought, into the egg, or I the egg out? I more boy, so I picked Okay. Do you think do you think the water will leave the egg or do you think water will go into the egg? What do you um, think? Maybe go in. You think it'll go into the egg where so it's gonna like sort of all collect together? Okay, let's find out. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Close your eyes. We gotta make a big surprise. Alright. Dig it out. Our corn syrup egg. Fish out our I corn syrup that. egg. Yeah, open your eyes. Let's see. It got tinier. It got tinier. Here, why don't you fish it out so we can show people. The views is tiny. She's reading. Isabella decided she was going to read. I got her, like, the most amazing National Geographic book. Yeah. And the third one just came out today. Can we even fish it out? Well, there's Rex. Oh, hello, Rex and Joseph. It's really oh, my squishy. gosh. It's so little. All the water left our egg because the corn syrup didn't have very much water and the water inside the egg said, hmm, there's not much water out there. I'm going to go dilute that as much as I can. Now look at the 
Whoa, look at that egg. All right, what do we think will happen to the egg in the water? Ooh, it's like wrinkly. It's like blobby. There's like not much to this egg, is there? No. All right, we'll put it right there. What do you think will happen to the egg that we put in water? I don't know. Maybe it'll turn blue or maybe it'll lose all its water too. Oh, okay. Georgia says maybe it'll turn blue. Maybe it'll lose all of its water too. Intriguing. We have not as much water in our egg this time compared to the outside. So let's take a look. Are you ready? She's going to close her eyes. All right. Give it a look. Let's take a look and see. Yep. What do you think? Should we pull it out? It's like... What is the squishy of this? Oh my gosh. And this is our egg that we put in water. Look how squishy it is. It's super squishy. Here's our egg in water. And here's our egg in corn syrup. <laughs> Where do you think the water went in this one, Georgia? Do you think it went into the egg or out of the egg? I went into the egg. It went into the egg because the egg has all those proteins and fats and salts and stuff. So the water on the outside said, ooh. I should go in there and dilute those proteins and fats and salts so it went and into the egg. This is mine, and this is Belly's. And Belly's, the water went this, out of the egg. Look, look, feel right here. I know. Oh, yeah, you can even, even the yolk feels different. It's really quite interesting. And you can see how thick that membrane yolk. is. Well, that little ball in there, yeah, that's the yolk. Is mine? Can you feel so mine? So peculiar. Can you feel no, because yours is just like a big water balloon. Yeah. No, we want to be careful with that because that's still a why raw egg you, in there. Why can't you just throw it to the ground? Because it'll splat, I bet. Maybe after. Maybe I'll um, splat blueness. Yeah. And maybe a splat maybe on Zoom or something we could splat it on this on our driveway. I'm holding it. All right, we'll be very careful while you're holding that. Okay, so let's get started on our project. So we are going to make these fun little character cards today. This is one of the ones that we've made before, where, let's find the button, it has a little nose that lights up, but you're going to have a chance, our little character card, when you look at your thing, it's going to be a big square paddle, and I did that so that you'd have the stuff you need to wire it, but you could create whatever you want to light up. So you could create a narwhal, you could create a flower, you could create a zombie, you could do a Minecraft thing, you could do like... Anything. Anything. Yeah, I mean, mermaids and Harry Potter and well, what anything. What I'm doing is a bowl with spikes and on all the spikes. It's going to be LEDs. Yes, George different. is going to do a, a different one than us together with multiple LEDs. We're going to figure that one out maybe on you, Zoom with her. You're only doing that Let's one. Let's do two. Cause, well, because everybody else is going to have one LED and it's a different wiring. So people might get confused if we wire it differently. But let's get started on this. First, we're gonna cut it out. So we're gonna take our template, which again, that was on Patreon. Patreon. Um, if you're not on Patreon, it's like a great way to sort of support this little pay what you can program and help us grow. You should tell all of your friends about the fun that we're having over here. Next week, we're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff in the garden. We're gonna do a lot of earth science. So we're gonna learn about our sun and our planet and we're gonna build greenhouses i'm gonna run some plant experiments and we're gonna do maybe one of my most favoritest wow that was terrible english grammar one of my well how, how else do you say that one of my most it's really my most favorite um projects with purple cabbage so if you are headed into the store to do your weekly grocery shopping trip, make sure you pick up some purple cabbage. If your store doesn't have purple cabbage, you're gonna wanna pick up something like beets or blueberries. Those will all work really well too. Do you wanna cut your own out? Mm -hmm. All right, you work on cutting it out. And mm -hmm. as you guys cut this out, put this then we'll the put the. When I'm done, can you? Yeah. Do it back. We'll put the camera over on this guy for you guys, so that you can see it nice and clear as we do this. Are we ready for camera? We are ready for the camera. Close up. Hopefully, it'll make it easier. All right. Don't talk until I make sure that we have the right volume. All right. You can put it over. Put it over. Here we go. How's that look? It's good to me. I just want to make sure that our audio is okay. Okay. So 
So go ahead. And We're on a pause. Okay. So we have got our piece cut out and we're gonna need some copper tape, a CR2032 battery and an LED to make this piece light up. Now I have these copper tape pieces that sort of go up. If you are thinking about what you're gonna draw on this blank side and you're like, I really want my LED to be way up tall, that's totally fine. When you do this, we'll just sort of bring these pieces of copper tape way up tall for you. And that's a change that you would want to make for that. And these batteries are really cool. They are lithium ion batteries. And yesterday when we did the stuff with the um, nails, we actually made the copper, we used a salt and we brought copper ions out from it. And then we used that salt and we made like a chemical reaction. And then we had it like go onto a negative part like the nails. Same thing is happening in this lithium ion battery. There's a salt and there's lithium ions and then there's like a carbon spot that's gonna be like the negative charge. So the ions are gonna create some charges that create a current that go from the top of the battery to the bottom of the battery. So what we need to do if we want anything to move in a circuit, we need to either attach our motor or our lights or whatever we want and it has to go from the top of the battery to the bottom of the battery. So if I just go top of the battery to the top of the battery like this, nothing happens. If I go bottom of the battery to the bottom of the battery, nothing happens. If I just have like one piece on the top of the battery and the other piece hanging out, still nothing happens. I have to make a full circle, which is called a circuit, to make it light up. And LEDs are special because even if I go from the top of the battery to the bottom of the battery, sometimes it still doesn't it work. Go, if you do it the one way, then you should do it the other way. Okay. This way is Wait, one. I can't see that. But this way is white. Yeah, so Georgia knows the trick. So this way doesn't work for us. And the trick for this is, is that electrons are maybe the best rule followers that we've ever seen. And an LED, it's like a slide. The electrons sort of go up the slide and then they slide down into this hole. And as they're sliding, they get so excited, they're like, whee! And they light up as they do that. But if you put them at the bottom of the slide, they have no idea where to go and they're never gonna climb up the slide. It's not very much fun for them. So they don't light up. So right now my light doesn't light up because my slide is the wrong way. But if I take my LED and I flip it around, then they get to go down their slide and they get to light up and everything works well. And the way to know which way goes where is if you look at your LED, let's put this guy flat right here. I have one leg that's a little bit longer and one leg that's a little bit shorter. The little bit longer leg is, I like one way you can think about this is like, you know, people who are optimistic think of the glass half full. They think of like more happening. And this leg is a little bit longer, so maybe it's more optimistic or positive. It's terrible, I know. But you put the long leg on the positive side and the short leg on the negative side. So if you have your thing cut out and you've got your stuff together, you should take a moment and check to make sure you can make your LED light up. And if you can't, the things to check are that you have both legs accidentally on the top or both legs accidentally on the bottom or you have one on top, one on bottom, but you actually need to pull it out and flip it over. So once we have that ready to go, we are gonna be ready to start copper taping. And the reason why I always check that my LED and my battery work is because sometimes your battery is dead and it doesn't work. And you don't wanna go through all this process to have it not work and then not know what it is when it's really Wait, just the battery. Oh. And you also don't wanna go through the whole process where it's a burned out LED because you'll be trying to troubleshoot your circuit and it's actually just a fundamental part of it. So once you've got that checked, we will start to get our guys wired up. Now, for a lot of you, this might be your first time making a paper circuit. So what we'll do is you measure out a little bit more than you need. This I probably ripped off a lot of copper tape here, but I'm gonna show you something. You're gonna have to peel it. That's the tricky part, is getting it peeled off like that. So there's the paper part on one side and the, then the copper tape was sticky on the other. And when you do this, you have to put it down at the same times as you're ripping the back off. So as I pull this white piece off, I need to 
press down on that copper tape to stick it to the paper. Because if I don't, if I say I'm just gonna rip this off and I'm gonna put it down all at once, I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Do. Don't do it at home. I don't know what to make and I want. It's going to, okay, this one didn't do it. Let's try with another piece, hang on. Mama. I know, but this is a really important lesson. So we gotta, we gotta show Mama. it, so you gotta get Mama. it started. When you get it, after you get it started, you have to put it like this. I know. George is on it. She knows. I'm trying to do it the wrong way, and she's catching me because we talk about this a lot in our classes. So this is what happens if you pull it off. It should get all twisty and totally unusable. See that? And that's going to be really hard because you're going to have to, like, get the twisty side down. And what will inevitably happen is you'll accidentally rip your copper tape, and you cannot, under no circumstances, can you say, I have a rip like this. And I'm just going to take a new piece of copper tape and continue on. If this happens, don't do it. Pause, rip up everything, throw that piece away. Because your circuit, I guarantee you, will I, not let work. Let me show you how to do it. George is going to come in and show us how to do it. All right, George, you want to come in and do it on this? You got to do it right here because the camera's right there. So she's going to so, peel it down. I'm not going to... Peel it down. Or she can get it started. I'm sorry. I'm gonna peel it down all the way, but I'm gonna peel it down like this. Yep. Good and job. It can be hard for little hands little to get bit, it started. But then I put it down as I go. Yep. She sticks it down as she goes. Great job, Georgia. And see how she's pulling the white tape as she's pressing down the copper part. We're gonna keep doing that, and she's going nice and slow to make sure. But she's following that line the best she can, and she's making sure that she doesn't accidentally rip her tape. Beautiful job. And then we also have to do it right over here. Yep. So we're going to get another piece, and we'll get a piece of tape about this long. This one? Yeah, that should do us. We can measure it. Why don't you measure it on the paper? Oh, yeah. See, that was perfect. That long. And you're going to go from here but the thing down is, in here. You do not go like this. Whoa! Uh oh! But that was actually short that. enough that we could do that. But you do not do that. Yeah, we don't want to do that normally. Yeah. Great job, Shelly. You shouldn't Georgia. even do that. And she's gonna stick it down right along that line for us. It's harder to do this. It is harder, isn't it? And if you were somebody who had said, "I want my LED to be up here," you would have had your copper tape continue on in one single long piece. So you should only have two pieces of copper tape on there. I don't know which one to do. Georgia's not sure what she's going to do, but we'll make that choice in a little bit. All right, so now I could put my battery here. There's a green circle for your batteries, and this is like the same for all for all of my, for all of my templates. So you're going to put the battery here. But you'll notice if I do that right now, then both of these lines of copper tape are touching the bottom of the battery. And remember, if we touch the bottom of the battery for both, that doesn't work very well. And even if I'm touching the bottom and then I come and I fold this up and I touch the top, the electrons are super lazy. They're just gonna go the easy way. So they're not gonna go through my LED. So I have a little problem here and that's where I'm gonna use my non-conductive tape. And there's actually a little blue square right here that tells you to tape some scotch tape or some masking tape, whatever you kind of tape you want, over that but piece. But there's another layer when you take it off. And we probably don't want to go so Can far I down. Tell you something? So when you take the tape off, there's another layer that sometimes you get. See? Oh yeah. Oh, I accidentally yeah. did that. Let's show them that. So George is finding sometimes when you try to peel the tape, it actually rips the paper apart instead of getting the tape on. So what you have to do is sort of scrape it off with your nail. It can be really tricky to get these guys started. And if it you find you've done that and it's too hard, what I like to do is just rip off that piece and then you can start over. Your nail works really, really well for doing this. So I like to just like sort of press my nail in there and then you get a little bit started and you can pinch it off. All right. So we're gonna put a little piece of scotch tape that's right over that blue square. So now when I put my battery down, See, I'm only touching this I one with the bottom. And the battery should always have its plus sign towards you. I always make all of my um, circuit templates to have that plan. 
So now we need to attach our LED. Now this line that comes here, we're actually gonna fold it, so it's gonna fold over onto the top of this. So this part needs to be the part that goes to the positive, Georgia, which needs to be the longer leg. So I'm gonna make my LED do the splits. Daddy. So you flexible. Can feel belly. And you we can feel tape belly. it down oh, here. And before we tape it down, you're gonna to wanna to think in your head, like, where do I want the LED on my drawing? Georgia, come around here if you want to see. Where do I want the LED on my drawing? And it, do I want it to be on the back side or the front side? Can you go around for the eggs, please? Yeah. And you want to punch a hole wherever you're going to put your LED if you're going to put it through. So I'm going to put my LED here. I'll just punch a quick hole just like that. And then I can stick my LED in like this. And we, we have some requests to slow down. Oh, OK. Yes. Let us know if you have questions. It does that we do have a delay going on. My apologies. So you can explain what you do. You know. So, so far we have taken two pieces of just single piece of copper tape. We got one nice long piece here and then one super long piece here and I covered up this spot so my battery doesn't touch the copper tape under here. I have a little layer of protection. And then I decided that over here, this is where I'm going to put my LED. And my LED is going to kind of peek through like this. That's where I decided I wanted it. If you want, you can always poke through this other way to make like the icky paper part come up. That's totally fine too. You probably won't see the paper very much, to be honest, when you're done. And I haven't taped my battery in yet, but that's okay. I like to test things first. And I actually forgot, I think this is my long leg. We're gonna double check, test it. Um, let's see, let's double check that I know. Yep, so this one's my long leg. So I'm gonna split the legs apart, just like as if it was doing the splits in gymnastics. Look at Which that. Which side of the battery is up? Beautiful splits. The side of the battery that's up is the positive side, so you should see the letters. There's one side that has letters, and there's gonna be one side that's just sort of like a pebbled back. So you want the side that you can see letters. And you're gonna stick your LED either through your hole or just tape it to the back. If you tape it to the back, you'll get this cool sort of like glow look on whatever you make. And if you put it through, then you can put it, add it to like a crown or a sword or the top of your narwhal. Clearly I'm making a narwhal. <laughs> the top of your narwhal piece and it'll be really bright instead of sort of diffuse and everywhere. So once I have my LED where I want it, and lined up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my piece of non-conductive tape, so like a masking tape or a scotch tape, and I'm going to tape over those legs, and I like to press on it nice and hard. Really make sure we're getting good contact between the copper tape and the metal leg. So you should have a sandwich of copper tape, metal leg, non-metal copper tape. All right. Yeah, because that's because you were helping me make mine. But I'm going to help you make yours in a sec. We'll do yours on the normal screen in a second. All right, so I have my LED in, and I have my two pieces of copper tape. So I am ready to put my battery in and check. Before I tape my battery in, I want to check it. So there's this pink little line right here. And that is a line that we are going to fold it over. So it's going to look like a square in the end. So we'll fold this over, and of course... Nothing happens because I'm missing my battery. So I'm now going to fold it over and check that it hits. And there we go. It lights up when I'm pressing. And the thing that you'll want to make sure you do is that it should, this copper tape needs to touch the top of the battery and the negative leg needs to touch the bottom of the battery. So once I have it in a good spot, I'm going to tape my battery in. But what I cannot do is I can't tape my battery in like this. Because if I tape my battery in like that, it's secure, it's not gonna move, but I can't touch the top of the battery anymore because there's tape right there, which is gonna be a problem for sure. So when I tape my battery in, I actually like to tape just these edges. I'll take a little piece on the edges, and I'll put my battery down, and I sort of like press the tape against the battery 
like this. And you don't actually need too much. This will actually hold it and you can test it that it still works. If you want, you can add a little bit more. You can add another piece on the top of the battery. And I'm just doing the edges to make sure I don't cover the part where this is gonna fold up and touch because that's gonna break my circuit. I will have an open circuit in that case. It's like having your light switch off. And we can keep double checking. Once you've made it work once, you wanna keep double checking to make sure that it's always working with whatever you do. And once I have it working, the last thing I'm gonna do is I actually sort of like roll this little fold a little bit and then I'm gonna tape it down and the nice thing about this is it's going to protect your circuit. Sometimes in my classes we find that we'll make a circuit and it'll be great and then we'll do something and we'll break it. And that's really, really frustrating. So I like tape over right here and then everything is sort of protected. You'll notice my LED is off but I can press it on, which is kind of handy. If you tape it too tightly down, this part will be really bent in and it'll be always on, which is totally fine. Just your battery will run out faster. So right now I've got this little view. And I, before I go any further, I'm gonna say, I will take the first three ideas and combine them into whatever my picture is today. So first three ideas that come in will combine some ideas on what I should make to draw a picture. And we can go back to the other one and I can help Georgia. Georgia, you want to come help? You want to make yours? Okay. Oh, you okay? All right, here we go. Let's put this out. Georgia just got a little bonk. Never, that never feels good. All right, which, which LED are we using? Here, come use it. You gonna do this guy? Is this your hole? Well, let's make it work. Here, why don't you put this one piece going down like that. You gotta peel it. Remember how we peel it? It's too long. Nice job measuring. Georgia did a great job measuring how long she wants her piece to be. I think I should try to make it a half stick. I don't know what that means actually. For I go down that one. For doing our hands on one side and then you guys taping up with this. Oh, side. sure. Do you want me to put this in? Sure. We're working on this new camera situation. All right, Georgia, good job. And this one is really lovely. It doesn't have any bends in it. You don't have to worry about bending it at all, which is really handy. And you'll notice she's got some wobbles, no big deal. Wobbles are fine. Yes, Whenever we have do. wobbles like this, do you know what we do, Georgia? Mm -hmm. we take our thumbnail and just press down, just like that. Shoop! Perfect. All right, let's get another it's nice long perfect. line. Well, if it works, it's perfect. No, it's not. Nothing can be perfect. Okay, you're right. Everything can always be improved. Make that guy a little bit longer, just a smidge. Yeah, we just want to make sure we have it good enough on the battery. Yeah, and let's put that guy down. Beautiful job getting that off. It's so hard. Getting the copper tape oh, peeled is so tricky. Oh, she found a side that has it started. Oh, that's lucky. It's like winning the lottery of paper circuits. All right, put that guy down there. Nice. I just usually do You might want to hold it over like that. Ooh, squeak. No, did I come in a little bit? That's okay. Nice job. She's picking it up and replacing it just so that it gets in the right angle so that we can make sure we get onto the bottom of that green battery part, which is really important. Beautiful. And then since she's got some wobbles, what are we gonna do? Take our nail? Yes. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. So our next piece, we're gonna cover up this little piece right here with some masking tape. So why don't you take a piece of masking tape and you're gonna put it right there. But you gotta leave, wait, hang on. We gotta leave this part open. So it's just gotta just cover this one, this long one. You gotta cover all of it. So maybe put the straight edge. Yeah, yes, beautiful. 
Oh, I love that. Gorgeous. What's this put for? Beautiful. All right. What's this put for? This is where we're going to fold it. And you've already got your fold in there, don't you? You already folded it up? You can fold it all the way up. All right. Choose your first LED that we're going to put in. We'll what do one I now and then later we'll do. Though. Ooh, Georgia doesn't know what to make either. Hmm, maybe. Let's see. Ooh, what if we made an ice cream cone with a cherry that lights up? <gasps> yeah? Okay. Do you want your cherry to be rainbow or red? Hmm. Tricky question. Red. Okay, so get a red LED and let's make it do the splits. Can you remember how to make it do the splits? All right, you can do it right up here, and then people can see you as you're working. All right, so we got it in the splits position. Beautiful. And Put this is I'm our long leg, I'm I think. So put your long leg there. Best splits ever. Best splits ever. Um, let's see. Flip it around. I think this is the long leg. So I think you want this leg over here. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. No. Which one do you think is the long leg? Okay. This one. That long? Remember that long? Do you remember that long? This one? I think that one's a long leg. If we're wrong, that's okay. If you flip your LED, not a big deal. Actually, if Georgia accidentally flips it, that'll be perfect because we can show people how to fix it then. Okay, this one's the short leg. Okay, now this we know for sure. She bent them up to check. So stick your LED through that little hole you made. And then you're going to use Too some tape. Big. That's okay. And you're going to tape down each leg. Can I just do this? Yep, you can just do both at the same time. Georgia asked, can I just put both in at the same time? And that's totally fine. Because the scotch tape and the masking tape are not conductive, so that because will not hurt then, your circuit. Because then They're it not would metal. Just, would just fall down. Boom. Yeah, she was worried about security. And this is going to be great. So we've got that guy. And now for Georgia, our next step, we're going to put in our battery, right? So why don't you put your battery, it's right under your arm. Doop, doop. Right there. Put your battery I'm in so we can see the letters. I know. And we're gonna fold this up and we'll see is, if it lights up. Oh! I saw it light up. So, we need to tape our battery in. So you're gonna take a little piece of tape right here. Oh, don't do that because people are watching through there. All right, so take a little piece of tape and you're gonna go just on this little outside edge right there. You can't go over the top of the battery, remember, because we gotta make contact with the top of the battery. I'm gonna get as little of the top as possible. Beautiful. And let's see if we still work. Let's do it again. Let's try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hers is still working. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I was right. So you can tape. Let's see. We're gonna fold this down a little bit. You can tape that piece right there. Because, yeah, when we press it, it'll work. And then when we don't press it, it won't work, which is exactly what we want. It's oh, it's still working. We're a little too good at working here. There we go. Oh, nope. So, let's see. We're going to rip hers open. And by rip, I mean we're going to gently undo this tape. And because hers turns on so easily, and you want it to be pressed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, here. We've got it. There is a solution for that. We're going to take a teeny piece of tape. Take your teeny, teeny piece of tape. And you're going to tape it right across there. Right across that little fold line, over the, hang on, over this copper tape right here. So we'll make sure it gets over that. Yeah, and maybe take this little piece and continue all the way across. So we get that little piece of copper tape too. And then we wanna go right there, yep. All right, now it should be a little harder for us to make it turn on, but we can still turn it on. Now we gotta press it. So now she can tape that down. And we gotta press it on. Beautiful. All right. So but how do you make it? Now we've got to make our drawing. You've got to make your ice cream cone. Do I do it this way? You could do it whatever way you want. Yeah, you could do. I don't know what I'm gonna make. Did we have any ideas? Um, I think people you could make a Noel. Too busy trying. You could make a unicorn. True story. You could make a, um a Noel. You could make um just like me. Let's see. I'm gonna make. Mm, oh, okay. I have an idea. I'm gonna make, I'm not, I'm not even gonna say what I'm gonna make because I'm not actually sure. But I do know I'm gonna use Draw So Cute Eyes. If you are looking for an awesome drawing program, I wanna give a shout out to a YouTube channel that 
my kids love. It's just called Draw So Cute. She is amazing. And my Georgia absolutely devours her drawing ideas. So we are gonna, I'm gonna use her. Yeah. She has these cute eyes she teaches you to make. We make two big circles. And put one big and little circles. One big and one little in the big circle. Yeah, and then we'll color it in. Oh, sorry. I moved that out thinking we were done, but I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this in. I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet, but I hope it's going to be cute. I think it's going to have a hat that lights up maybe. Or maybe like a crown piece. Maybe it's going to be a crown piece that lights up. It could be like a crown of the forest. Ooh, I'm going to do a forest crown that lights up, so it'll have like... Leaves that come off like this. I can't do it because of the LED. I know it's tricky on this one because, yeah, we've got these LEDs that are sort of in our way for drawing. There. Which is when we give ourselves a little space and grace when things don't work out all the time. Put some little purple flowers on here. Pretty, is it gonna be for me? Is it gonna be for you? It could be if you'd like it. I do. And it's got like a, it's got a little star. And Sarah it's, said, we noticed that when we stick more than one LED on the edge of the battery, they all need to go the right way or they were, else all go out. Yes. But so, I great found question. out, even though I did it the right way on both of the LEDs on one, Mm -hmm. of the on one of the batteries it didn't work no. only one worked even though it did the other one the same way yeah so there's a couple of things if you're doing more than one and you put one the wrong way oh, but I did not. some of them are power hungry too which is part of it all right so sometimes you can get two i couldn't get the blue one to light up because the blue one is power hungry it needs too much i can't do it with those guys but if we flip this and go around, oh, ours didn't, didn't go out. Sometimes they will go out because the these guys, the back, if it's backwards, it'll just create a short circuit. So it'll be like attaching a wire from the top to the bottom. And if I do that, if I were to attach a wire from the top of the battery to the bottom, then my yellow LED goes out. This is a terrible way to make a switch because this will burn out your battery very quickly. In fact, I can feel my battery getting warmer in my fingers right now. And the reason is, is the electrons, instead of going through the LED, like they're supposed to, they'll go straight through the wire and they will go so fast because there's nothing else for them to do. There's nothing called really resistance. There's nothing to resist their flow. Whereas here, they've got to climb up the slide and slide down it. Sometimes they've got to go through a motor and make it move. But when it's just a wire, there's nothing that they're doing. So they just run as fast as they can. They always take the fastest, easiest way. And it turns out this guy, because they say, I would rather just do this than have to climb up the slide and go down the slide. That's so boring. And that's what happens. But if you connect the top and the bottom of your battery, it burns out because you have that constant cycle of electrons and batteries only have a certain amount that they can do. So that's what's going on there. And some LEDs, Aww. these ones didn't do it, but some do do that where if you connect it backwards, it'll take them all out for and you. My, mine is going to hold another Put my guy back in. Mine is holding another ice cream cone. It's mm. a lot. There we go. We're working again. I've got my cutie eyes. And we'll head on over to Zoom in just a little bit so that you guys can show me your projects if you're having trouble. That's always really helpful. Oh my, she's having a milkshake. Aww. This is going to be not the smiley, although it's really cute as a smiley face. That's what I was going to do. Oh, I'm going to do a puppy. So you asked why someone would build a diode that short circuits the battery. I think some of them tail. are just really cheaply made. It can be a bunny too, which right? is probably. I might forget as a puppy and look Although, like a bunny. Although I'm wondering if they're using the rainbow ones because the rainbow ones have chips inside of them too. I mean, I've definitely seen it happen with some of my LEDs. And to be fair, I buy my LEDs by the thousands, and I'm not necessarily looking for like the super high quality ones because we make projects like this where 
we just pour tons of LEDs into each project. All right, I'm making a puppy, I think. Does this look like a puppy? It looks like a bunny, isn't it, puppy? Oh, it looks like that's a bunny cute. mostly. Okay, it could be a bunny mostly. I'm okay with that. Maybe like this. Uh, I don't know if I liked that move. That's okay, because Draw's so cute. She teaches us, right? Never a mistake. We'll just go with it. We'll just go with it. You don't have to do the whole thing. Only the ears, because then I'll be like spotted. Like, <gasps> I could do spots. Oh, I love that. Can I? I'm gonna do a spot here for this doggy. I should have done spots on the ear. That would have been a great idea. But you can do it on the. But on most spotted spot. bodies, yeah. the white spots. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, oh, usually it's like a white spot instead of a brown spot. No, it's just that. Um. It's usually the whole ear that has it. Right. Like one color. It's okay. We're going to do it like this. I'm happy with this. Although I'm not sure. We're not going to be able to see where the face is on our little puppy. Oh, it's so cute, though. All right. We'll yeah. color that in. Oh, I like it. Oh, I love my little puppy. Again, I'm going to give it a guess. smile. Ooh, look, I'm actually going to use this darker Why one. Why did you give it a smile? Because if you give it a smile, oh, yeah. it won't Do look dogs as have cute. You're right. Dogs might not have smiles. They don't look as cute, Mama. Please. Let's do this part cute. here. Why there? Just like an outline that's maybe a little darker so you can see it better, I think. And then, what do doggies have like a little nose? Why right? they got like a cute little nose? A little nosy. And they have this thing. Oh, I think that's more cat like now, but that's okay. I don't care. Wait, Mama, can I'm you do something? I'm good with it. You can do like a little garden. tongue out, like. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could put a little tongue. Oh, I love that yeah. idea. George. All right. George. And in about one minute, we're going to transfer over to George. our Zoom classroom. Mama, oh, we're in our Zoom George. classroom. Perfect. Hi, George. You can come into our Zoom classroom. George, Hi, George. is joining us already. So I will sign off Facebook then so that we can head on over to our Zoom classroom. <laughs> or I will head off YouTube so we can head on over into our Zoom classroom. I and wanna... there, hang on one second, little love. You can show me sort of up close pictures of what your circuit problem is so that I can troubleshoot that for you from afar. And we can see everybody's projects, which will be awesome. As we sign off, I just want to say thank you for joining us. Make sure you tell all your friends because we are basically crowdsourced at this point for the Pay What You Can program. Next week, we're going to have so much fun with gardening activities, planting things, learning about our solar and system. She, and she's going to wear great. a cute little dress. She's going to wear a cute little dress. George is going to wear a dress. Um, no, you and are. You to make sure, yes, dress? I am. Make sure you give us a thumbs up that you subscribe and get our notifications so you know when we're live. And I can't wait to see you in Zoom. Have and a great afternoon. Use the ones that you used. You want to use the ones that I used? Yeah, because I want to make this. Oh, yeah, you can make these. <gasps> but yours is so cute. It's an ice cream cone holding a cupcake. Oh, can I color it? What? Yeah. What? What is this that color? I think that was like a purple. Is that purple? No, I think it was this one. Okay. Hello, one. friends. And I might be on mute. I might be on mute. All right. That's cool. Can I, I can color this, Georgia? Mm -hmm. Cool. But I'm going to use that brown after you, okay? Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm looking for all the colors you used. Yeah. So I, I feel like we might need to actually move that computer closer when they're holding stuff up. Can move it closer right now? Because I'll need to see it. How's it going, George? Did it work? Memory, you getting it working? Everybody's on mute, so you have to unmute them. Oh, cool. All right. If you, everybody's on mute right now. Oh, <gasps> George, it looks amazing. Oh, I love it. Henry, how is yours? Is yours working? <gasps> oh, I love it. Look at that. That's so so great. All right. So everybody's on mute at the moment. If you want to talk, you can bring yourself off of mute and then go back on. Aww. Ooh, look at that little chicken. <gasps> and this person, is she, she looks like she's holding an orb. 
That is so cool. Henry, I love yours. Is it like a dog? Is it? It looks really cool. Got like a light up nose. Except for I can't hear you, George. But you are not on mute. Oh, wait. So Hang on. your volume might be. Oh. So great. We are like, where are we at? Hang on. I think maybe the YouTube thing is live in the background. All tab. There we go. All right, hang on, we're back. You guys were on a big delay, weren't you? How do I get back here? Go to Alt Tab. You know, go to the Zoom. There we go. Nope, it's like, it's just George. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Fabulous. Okay, now I can see everybody. All right, so if you want, if you have trouble or something, you can always take yourself off of mute to chit chat. And I like seeing everybody's. Yay. So tell people to put themselves on mute unless they want to talk. Okay, so if you should put yourself on mute on your own computer, and then when you want to talk, we can take you can take yourself off of mute, which will make it so that we're not all chatty at the same time. So you put yourself on your own mute, and then when you have a question, you can take yourself off mute. Thank you, everybody. You guys are doing a great job. So yeah, make sure as you join, Put yourself on mute, and then when you need to talk, we'll take you off mute so that you can see us. <gasps> Is that Colin Rossi? I can't see his video yet. <gasps> Happy birthday, Colin! How's it feel? How's it feel to have a new digit? How old is he? Eight. Now? Just yeah. I know, it's pretty cool. All right, I've seen some awesome projects from George and Henry. And from Isabel, I saw this chicken. Yes, I love that chicken. Yeah, this is Anna's. Anna's. Oh, I, I made love it. it for my dad. You made it. Oh, I bet he's gonna love it so much. Is he working from home? I already sold it for him. He loved it. I was gonna say you could slip it under the office door, which might just be the bedroom door right nowadays. We don't have an office door. We just have an office. No office. We have an office. So I'm glad you want to ask Oh yeah, I would love to hear your question, Clara. Which green did you use? Can you like do more than one? Mm -hmm. Which green did you use? Can you do more than one? Yes, you totally can. Which green did you Let me use? Mama, which green cut one out and I'll show you how to do that. Which green? I think I use that green. This green? I'll show you how to do that in one sec, okay? Green, Mama? Yeah. Okay. So, Clara, you'll have to decide if you want them like sort of right next 